Well, uh, the American authorities, Benanka learned from the 1930s. He threw away dynamic stochastic general equilibrium models and went back and looked what to see what people did in the 1930s to avoid a catastrophic collapse of capitalism. Um, he acted imperfectly uh, in situations of great uncertainty. He tried to avoid what people got wrong. He tried to copy what they did right. And so far, it seems to have worked. Well, clearly, um, economics isn't uh, an empty box, and uh, there's some validity in the use of the uh, rational agent model. Um, but all theories are approximations to reality, and it's really a question of the circumstances in which these assumptions uh, of the rational agent model are valid. And even with bounded rationality, they give us rather uh, a limited set of problems we can, a can address. Uh, and my feeling is that this paradigm, this scientific paradigm, um, is now close to exhaustion. That all, all the questions that can be usefully answered with these approximations to reality um, have in fact been dealt with. And trying to extend this into um, other areas is a mistake, is a scientific mistake. So we think, for example, the work of uh, Daniel Kahneman, uh, when he concludes his Nobel lecture by saying, uh, humans reason poorly and act intuitively. And we should be now learning, to build, taking economics forward by building on alternative views of agent behaviour uh, drawn not just from um, empirical evidence within economics, be like Kahneman and Smith, uh, but from other disciplines such as anthropology and sociology. And in these, um, humans have uh, act much more, they do act much more intuitively and a very important principle um, in these like alternative behaviour models is that copying or imitating behaviour um, of peers, of people you're connected to on a network. Uh, this is a very powerful theme in the behavioural models of other social sciences and I think this is the way we need to go to start solving the problems uh, that the rational agent really isn't equipped to deal with. What can we learn from this in relation to the financial crisis? Well, we, when we think about how we might think about analyze a financial crisis, for example, then the rules of behavior or the level of cognition we ascribe to agents um, is really quite fundamental. And if we look back at, say, the macro theories of, say, both Keynes and Hayek, who are often thought to be diametrically opposed, they're, they're both stressing very, very much uh, the role of uncertainty rather than risk. And this seems to me to have played a key factor uh, in the financial crisis, um, that uh, people were really completely uncertain uh, of outcomes in many of the complex uh, derivatives which they priced. They had no idea of the probability distributions of outcomes. So that's one thing. So agents here are operating with much less cognition, much less knowledge than the rational agent theory assumes because the circumstances approximate, approximate more closely uh, uncertainty uh, rather than risk. And I think the second key point to learn is that uh, the autonomous agent assumption, the, ag the assumption that the agent is operating independently, is only valid in very limited circumstances. And most of the time agents operate in society and are influenced by directly their tastes and preferences, their behaviour isn't just influenced indirectly via impacts on the price level, but directly via uh, the actions of others. And that's the clearest possible example is the risk of the cascade of bank failures that we saw in the crisis. First of all, the freeze on liquidity was a cascade. People suddenly, uh, almost instantaneously, copied each other's behaviour and stopped lending. And that was the, f the first signs of a major financial crisis. And the real threat that we faced in the financial crisis wasn't the autonomous agent failing, it wasn't Lehman's failing, it was the consequences for everybody else, which necess necessitated the emergency measures, which the Americans took in particular, and which bore uh, no resemblance to the prescriptions of uh, rational agent theory. So we need to think of different agent models to take account of and understand better uh, what went on in the financial crisis.